Strong leaders are often the product of their experience and their values. For NCBA Vice President Tracy Bruner, growing up and now leading a fourth generation ranch that includes seed stock, cow calf, and cattle finishing has provided a wealth of experience and a bedrock of family values. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Russell Nemitz takes us to the Flint Hills of Kansas to spend a day in the life with the Bruner family on the Cow Camp Ranch. Nestled south of I-70 on the western edge of the Kansas Flint Hills, Tracy Bruner and his family have built a strong cattle business rooted in diversity and recognition of the individual strengths of all members in the family. Cow Camp Incorporated is our family-owned corporation, an equal partnership of three brothers, myself and Kent and Mark. Cow Camp Ranch LLC is our sister company of a seed stock enterprise, and that's operated by Kent, his son Nolan, and Mark. Brenner Cattle Company is a bonded livestock dealer operated by myself and my wife Yvonne. My wife of 33 years is my uh, not only my soulmate but also the bookkeeper and partner in our operation. We have two children, Lauren, or known as Cat, who is married to, to Jake Jenkins. They have twin boy and girl, Alex and Ava, that are about two years old, and a son, Tanner, 21 years old, who's a student at Kansas State University. With enterprises in the seed stock, feedlot, and cattle buying businesses, CalCamp Incorporated truly is a family affair. These various segments of the industry complement one another and ultimately make the Bruner family more efficient beef producers. We've come to believe that the strength of our of our business is in the diversity and the ability to make a production system that works not only in complete harmony with the elements and the resources that we have at this location, but many aspects of our operation complement each other. For instance, our feed yard provides nutrients that recycle back into our farming, our cropping operation, and in turn, the uh, products of the farming operation provide feedstuffs for the cattle business. The seed stock business is a longtime family tradition for the Bruners. They know that producing high quality beef starts with sound genetics in their cow herd. Our herd is primarily uh, Simmental based. We run about uh, 700 mother cows um, and of those the big majority are purebred Simmental and Sim Angus. We market around approximately 250 bulls a year. We have uh, one sale a year in the spring. That's the last Friday in February. Cow Camp is committed to providing consistent results for their seed stock customers. Their commitment to quality continues through to the stalker and feedlot segments. In fact, many of the cattle at Cow Camp Feed Yard are purchased from seed stock customers. Our feedlot is licensed for 8,000 head. We roughly have five to 7,000 head in it most all the time. Uh, most of the cattle are all fed to finish. We buy a lot of cattle that are out of our genetics from people who purchase seed stock from us. Uh, we collect a lot of uh, carcass data and feedlot data on those cattle so that we can kind of gauge how we're uh, doing on our seed stock side. We work with the customers and try and repurchase or re help retain ownership on those calves. It lets us evaluate the genetics that we're proliferating and, and helps us uh, know if what we have done is, is the right road for balanced beef production and also for, for efficient beef production. We also uh, have an overall mission of producing the highest quality beef products possible. And that quality focus has helped tie all of our businesses together. And the availability of local feed and pasture resources means Cow Camp Feed Yard is in a very desirable location. We are in uh, predominantly a farming area, but just to the east of us, 
There's the Flint Hills, which is probably one of the top five grazing regions. It's all native blue stem, big and small. You can grow cool season grasses as well. So grass is very abundant. At Cow Camp uh, Feedlot, we graze 2,500 to 3,000 head of, of yearling cattle a year by uh, three to five weight steers, take them out on the Flint Hills on mostly double stock uh, to get some cheaper gain on them. And then they come back into the feed yard and we will uh, sort these into to uniform groups of cattle and, and, and feed them out to their finish weight. The availability of pasture land is a great complement to our farming and ranching business here in Kansas. We have great diversity of how the Flint Hills is used and it's a, a very uh, great resource both for our state and for our industry. Tracy Bruner's ability to lead doesn't end at the ranch. Over the years, he's volunteered his time to serve as president of the Kansas Livestock Association and the Kansas Beef Council. Now, he's serving as an officer of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. The interest and uh, in serving the overall industry has always been keen for me. I've always found that is not only interesting but very rewarding in the people that I meet and what I'm able to learn and, and use from that and uh, hopefully we're able to use those experiences and, and grow and make a, a useful contribution to the industry. With opportunities for future growth in the beef industry, Tracy and his brothers aim to grow their cattle business today to lay the foundation for the next wave of Bruners to succeed in the future. Family has given us the foundation for our organization. We're run by the fourth and fifth generations currently. We do enjoy our work. We enjoy working with the land and the cattle. We enjoy being able to provide food for the consumers of our country and our world and we're anxious to be able to pass that opportunity on to the next generation. Reporting from the Flint Hills of Kansas, I'm Russell Nimitz for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. If you'd like to join Tracy Bruner as a member of the nation's oldest and largest cattle industry organization, it's easy to do. Join NCBA now by calling 1-866-USA-BEEF or visit the website beefusa.org.